What's up everybody, it's me Steve WB and welcome back. And today I was just out taking a leisurely cruise on the old Super Ride S1000 and I started getting annoyed. And I was like, why am I getting annoyed? I'm out doing something I love to do. Is it this little sh this shirt that I put on that fit me like a month ago but now it feels like my little brother's lost shirt? I don't know. And I realized, no, it's not the shirt. It's the beeping from the Super Ride S1000. It's constantly going beep, 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 or beep, 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 depending on how fast you're going. It's just beeping at you. And I really get tired of hearing the beeping. So in this video, if you own a Super Ride S1000, I'm going to show you how to take it apart, pull the little beeper out, to get rid of that altogether. No more beeps. And then you can just drop a comment down below if you think it's a good idea to take the beeping out because the beeping is actually like a speed reminder to let you know how fast you're going without having to look. Because if you go too fast, of course, you can outrun the Super Ride and you're gonna fall over the front. But there is a safety feature built into the Super Ride that once you hit 30 kilometers an hour, it starts tilting back and lifting to slow you down. So drop a comment down below. Good idea, bad idea. Let's go back to the shop and get started. Okay, so we made it back to the workshop. Let's get the Super Ride S1000 up on this table and pull it apart. Here it is, we got it up on the table and what we need to do is we're gonna pull this little box out first. And I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. We're not gonna drag this out. Okay, so in order to remove the brain box and battery where the beeper is located on the Super Ride S1000, you have to disconnect this cable, this cable, and this screw right here, and you disconnect this cable right here. But that's your only three connections to slide this box right out. So let's do that. All right, so the brain box is out. We're gonna remove some screws and get this thing open. Okay, so at first you have four screws. One, two, three, four. Let's get these out real quick. Just four screws, and you can see that I'm gonna disconnect the battery. This is the battery right here for the Super Ride S1000. It's uh, not a very big battery pack, but here it is. Looks like it's all made out of 18650 cells. Anyway, let's not get distracted. So inside the box, you can see this is the main control board. And right here, is the little piezo toner, beeper, whatever you may call it. And then you also have a speaker over here. So I need to figure out which one is making the noise. So I guess I'm gonna just try to power it up. I mean, what could go wrong, right? Okay, so I'm not sure exactly. I believe it is this one. But what I may do is just disconnect both of them. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's try disconnecting this one first. All right, so that's disconnected. Let's turn it back on and see. No more annoying beep. So that's very good. That's what we wanted. So 
So it looks like we got lucky on the first try. I just don't know what this one is for. Ooh, what does this button do? I don't know, but we're gonna leave it just like it is because this is the annoying one right here. And as you saw, I just unplugged it from this little slot right here. So I'm just going to kind of coil this up a little bit. That way it's not flopping too much in there. And now I gotta get my battery back in properly. And we're just gonna put it back together. Put it back in the bike. And there you have it. Now let's just take it on a little quick spin, see if the little beep, beep, beep is all gone and our lives will be happy and stress-free forever. Let's go. Okay, so here we are back on the Super Ride S1000 and we're gonna find out if the beep, beep, beep has gone away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the camera down to the speedometer and once we hit 20 kilometers an hour, it should beep twice. 30 kilometers an hour, it should beep three times. Let's see if we get any beeps. And there you have it, success. No more annoying beep. Now the only downfall that I can think of to not having the beep is when you're calibrating and stuff, you don't know when it's in different modes, but I'll deal with it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, concerns, or video suggestions, drop them in the comments section down below. I'm Steve WB and I'm out.